So you want to make text wave. Well, step one, drive to California. Step two, go to the beach. Step three, grab a surfboard. And step four, cowabunga. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make a smooth wave animation with some text, which I really enjoy. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I think this would be a really fun one because I keep seeing ads with this, uh, with this kind of animation in the ad, and I really love it. So, we've done something like this before, a, a couple times, I believe, actually, but, uh, doing it once again today in a slightly different way than we have before. So, let's go ahead and actually grab, uh, everything in the scene by just left-clicking and dragging over top of everything except for our camera, so our cube and our lamp. Hit delete to get rid of that. Select our camera. And then hit Alt G to clear the to clear the location, and Alt R to clear the location. Well, backwards to clear the lo the location and then the rotation. Holy moly! Um, we're gonna hit R, then X on our keyboard, and then nine zero on our numpad to rotate the camera on the X axis ninety degrees. Left click to confirm that, and hit G Y to move this camera backwards. Hit left click, and then zero on the numpad to go into the camera's view. If we hit Shift A, you can search for a text object right here boom then hit r then x and then once again nine zero on your numpad and hit enter to confirm that now we have the text rotated 90 degrees so we can see it if we hit tab we can change what it says and we're just letter by letter by letter so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit uh, i'm going to type a word this word is going to be uh, smooth yeah we'll do the word smooth so i'm going to type s we're going to do this letter by letter so hit s then hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Um, and then we can go to the text tab here on the right hand side. Change the horizontal alignment to center. Make sure you open up the font section and then select this folder icon and select what font you want. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab, go to my folder which uh, houses all of the fonts. Which is the, the folder that, that should be called fonts but I can't find it right now. But that's okay because we're going to use this font anyway. Which is called the Monster Rat Black. I like this font. Let's select now that it's opened it up. I'm actually going to scale it up a little bit. So S, Z. Um, so scale it up a little bit like that. Nice. Now what we can do is we can uh, go ahead and change the vertical alignment, but instead of doing it by this, because it usually never hits the center. Actually, that's actually the center. Uh, you can also do it by setting off, offsetting the Y if it's if the font was made in a weird way, and the center of the font isn't actually the center of the entire like font section you know what i mean so um if there's more space at the top or the bottom then it won't set the center in the proper space so if you can use the vertical center then that's great but if you can't just mess around with the y offset until it gets to where it's supposed to be so for this font it works so we can leave it like that now i'm gonna go ahead and hit g x to move this over and then shift d to duplicate this and then hit g x once again just to slide it over and then hit tab to change the letter to an m and we're just going to kind of do this for all of the letters here. So um, we're going to have two O's as well, obviously. Um, I almost said two zeros there. Wow, nice. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this T there and then the H as the last letter. Now you can see we have the entire word smooth. I'm going to go ahead and drag a box by left clicking and dragging over top of all the letters. Then hit GX to move these in the center or approximately the center. I'm also going to hit S to scale them down because it's a little bit too big move them uh, about in the center about right there we can go ahead and select our camera if you want to and then go to viewport display composition guides and then turn thirds on so you can kind of see a, a general basis of where the center is which does help quite a bit so i'll move it about right there that looks pretty good to me now with this i'm gonna turn thirds off um with this done i'm gonna go ahead and as you can see we were if we were to go ahead and animate all of these they would move all together which is not what i want so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and change our start frame to zero, go to zero, and then we can go ahead and grab uh, all of these these letters here, select every single one of them like that, and then with, uh, with all of them selected, I'll hit I to insert a location keyframe, but before we do that, I'm going to hit G, X to move these, down. so on frame zero, we'll add that keyframe, and then on frame, I don't know, like two, maybe 30, We'll hit I location once again, but on the frame zero, we'll go back and we'll move these down now so they will actually move anywhere, somewhere. So hit GX and then we'll just GZ, sorry, move them down like uh, like that. There we go. Um, and then hit location. Nice. So there we go. Now they move up. As you can see, if I play this, 
you move up but it's super like choppy so we'll go ahead and go to the main tab here uh the main tab here the scene tab and change the frame rate to 60. nice so we can play this again you can see that it is much smoother that's what you like to see um now because they just kind of dead stop what i want to do is on frame maybe 60 and let i location but then back on frame 30 we'll move these all down a little bit so they have a place to go so i'll move it down just a little tiny bit and i location now we do this you see they kind of they kind of smooth to a stop instead of just stopping dead um very cool so um i want them actually to go a little bit higher what am i thinking i want them to go a little bit higher so let's actually go ahead and get rid of 30 and move 60 back to where it is because i want them to these to go higher than than they are so let's actually move the 30 frame when it goes to the center to back to 60 we'll move it back to 60 and then i want to move the one on 30 way higher than 60 so that it comes back down if that makes sense so it goes up and comes down um but it doesn't look that cool right now so what i'm going to do is about right uh maybe there we'll have this go up more oh that was kind of cool wait a minute hold on do i want it to be like that though I don't think that I do. I feel like it goes up slow and it should come down faster. Not that fast. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. Nice. Okay. My phone is going off. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I think that was really cool. So yeah, let's do that. That looks nice. So on frame zero, they're way down here. This little circle is the center, by the way. So. Keep that in mind. On frame zero, they're way down here. On frame 20, they go way above the circle, right? And then they come back down slowly on frame 50 to the center. So that's what we have basically right there. Um, yeah, nice. So cool. What I want to do now is obviously all of these mo letters move together, which is not what I want. So to fix that, um, we're going to go ahead and do something. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. And I want to make it so that these change color. So I'm going to go to the rendered viewport shading here, go to the main tab, go to color management and uncheck filmic. So I'm going to undo filmic. So we're going to change this to standard instead of filmic. Now I'm going to go to the, the world tab, change the color to solid white, go to the material tab, hit this little drop down box, select material, and then we're going to go ahead and change the base color to a color that I want to use, which is going to be blue. Actually, I might use red. We'll use red. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit um, Control L and link materials. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have specular all the way down and roughness all the way up. So that way that we have no uh, weird reflections on any of the text and it is just solid. We could also go ahead and change the principal BS to DF to an emission shader, which will make this a lot easier. And we can just go ahead and make sure that this is solid red. So there you go. If you don't want any reflections or nothing, you want flat graphic text, which is what I want, then we can just do that. Now, perfect. On the 20th, or maybe on the 15th frame, just so it's not on, every, on the same frame, you know. Um, I'm going to hover my cursor over top of the red and hit I. And then go to, not the zero frame, but the first frame, so that they are different frames. Um, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the color is set to solid white, which we can go ahead and just desaturate fully. And then have my cursor over top of the white, hit I. And now we have the text going from white all the way to red, which looks really cool. Now, of course, this won't work if you have a black background. So what you need to do is make sure that whatever color you use, you use is the same color as your background, which is obviously super easy because what I'm doing is I'm just making it so that it is... Um, semi-transparent uh, uh, looking like it's semi-transparent but it's just coming from the white um, of course this works with solid color backgrounds um, other uh, other ways we have to do this is I would I would really like to maybe rotate all of the text objects so let's go ahead and actually uh, grab this real quick and you can rotate them um, like individually but I don't want to do that so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it the way that it is but we're gonna offset it so that it uh, it looks uh, really cool now I'm gonna go and make sure that on frame 180 we have our cursor over top of the red and then go to 200 actually we're gonna go 90 and then make sure that it is solid white once again and then we'll have our in frame be 200 nice so now that it goes back to the to the white so that it loops just like that which looks really really cool so as you can see 
it does that and it comes back up so now with all of these selected i'm going to go ahead and we're going to offset these because it looks uh not fun the way that it is um so i'm gonna make our in frame actually 250 once again because i forgot we need to offset these so i'm gonna select all of these pieces except for the first s so we're going to deselect that by clicking and and dragging our middle mouse button our our mouse wheel our scroll wheel um we're going to click and drag that over the s and it will deselect it so now we can we have everything selected down here by double tapping a so making sure all the keyframes are yellow and then hit g and then we can move these up like three frames so that they're three frames forward same thing we'll deselect the m uh, hit B to box select and then middle mouse button to click and drag over top of the M and now we can move these over three frames so one two three nice and the same thing with all the rest of these so one two three and then this one as well one two three the T one two three and the H uh, yeah, yeah yeah we did that one already or did we not we might not have um, but uh, but yes so that, I don't think we did the H. No, we did. Okay, nice. So you can see when I play this through that the text now uh, is offset and it's a very, very cool little wave animation, which I really, really like, um, which looks very, very nice. And it will also go away in a wave for format as well, or it should actually. I don't know why it's going together. Oh, that's because it's the material. So the material ha has not been um separated for each of these these uh objects and that's why it's still animating all at the same uh time so what we can do to fix that is we can go ahead and select each and every single one of these um uh objects and we can just call this a different thing so on the m i'm gonna hit this little seven button and we'll call this m we'll call the first one s we'll call this one hit the little seven we'll call this zero one or oh one sorry um, uh, hit that little button, hit O2, the T, we'll call this T, of course, and the last one, of course, we're going to call that nothing other than Z. Nice. Cool. So, now with this done, you can see that we can go ahead and animate the, um, material as well. So we open this up, hit this little thing right here, select the, uh, open up the, uh, material keyframes, and as you can see, we, go, we need to go ahead and actually, uh, animate these all separately because at the current moment, uh, they are not all done up properly. So if we go to 16 to 30, you can see that there is only one keyframe for that. They are all, if I open up all, uh, there we go, select all of them, and then we can just open up every one of the materials. Uh, make sure they're open. Z, uh, like this one that's open, 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 open. Okay, make sure they're all open. And now when we select them, you can see that they are all indeed on the same exact keyframes which is 16 to 30 so we can fix that individually i did accidentally forget this step but you can see now it's easy to go back and fix um now if you did forget something so on s we'll leave it the same place on m we'll move it up three so if you need to look at the how many you move it up because it's hard to tell sometimes look over here at the delta there's a little little delta thing that comes up so if you hit g to move them you can see it says one two three four five six all the way up so you just move it over three if you can't tell how many you actually move it over just visually because it is difficult sometimes to see so now we have to move this one up not three but six um because it didn't move with the other rest of them and this one has to be nine of course um and then the t has to of course be more than nine which is 12 and then the last one which is t will of course uh what happened what happened here oh t didn't go okay let me, I, that's because i didn't hit okay there we go so t and then z okay nice um yeah yeah, yeah. okay so this one's at 25 so which which means that the t should be Three, one, two, three. Okay, the H needs to be moved up. Oh, one, two, three. Nice. Okay, cool. So now you can see that the uh, materials come in at a different time. The S is stuffed over. That's because it's st it was stuck on Z. So let's fix that one real quick. Um, and we'll put that one back on 16 to 30. And nice. So now you can see that all of the animation is different. They all go the go away at the same time, which I kind of like. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at this now. They all come in at a different time, which looks really cool. There you go. And they go away all together. I think I want these to come in a little uh, quicker as well. So let's go ahead and actually open all of these, and then we will we'll move uh, all of them over by ten. 
yeah so we'll move all of these over by 10 um so that they come in 10 frames earlier because i want to see more of the animation you know i'm not getting to see a lot actually i'm moving over more than 10 i'm moving over 15 let's move over to 15 nice okay so each one of these need to be moved over, moved over by 15 frames which means they all need to be right up against this one one frame uh one frame after the first frame in the lineup so that's easy to do now now that i know that nice so when we do this a lot of a lot of tweaks as you can see but that's fine so now you can see you can see them come up and they go down which looks really really cool so that is what you love to see now i actually kind of want to do something crazy here wait a minute i want these to be i want them to go away at random times that might be kind of cool actually um to do that so let's go ahead and actually just move these over like this just at the most random locations like this that looks cool yeah yeah all right sweet let's take a look at it with, with the white background nice and they go they come in like that and they go away in random that's very nice i like that quite a bit but uh basically that is it and obviously you can go ahead and uh, uh change these letters whenever you want to just you can do smooth yeah you can just change all the letters if you just um really really want to because they're still editable you have to do each letter by themselves of course um which is very very nice so Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial. That is it. I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.